In chapter nine, I learned all about outlining the body of a speech. Now, before reading chapter nine, I didn't realize how many different orders it could be implemented to organize the body of a speech. And these are important to public speaking because if you don't have a logical argument in your body, then your argument automatically becomes less valid because people don't understand what you're trying to say. And you can use this in real life by, let's say, if I wanted to ask my mom to go on a trip. And if I organized my main ideas into a logical order, it could lead her more to say yes than deny my request. Now, in chapter 10, I learned about openings and closings. Uh, I learned that there are many different techniques in both opening and closings to grab the audience's attention and also reiterate, reiterate what you're saying without being redundant. And this is important in public speaking because if you do not introduce and engage your audience, you will lose them and your whole argument will just be nothing. It'll just be words on a, through your mouth and nothing being received. And also if you have a weak closing, it's the last impression that you're leaving. So if it's weak, then your entire argument then becomes weak. Uh, I can use this in real life if I'm, let's say, in a group of people and I want to grab their attention so they can listen to what I have to say. I could state a question to the whole group. I could say an interesting fact. Anything to really grab their attention here I have to say. Now, in chapter 11, it was all about outlining in general. And now I learned what specific things I should highlight in a speech outline. And this is really important in public speaking because you need clear cut to yourself of examples of what you want to say to your audience. Because if you don't know what you want to say and how you want to say it, then your audience won't know what you're saying and don't know how you're saying it. And I can also use this in real life because I have outlined in the past, I have done textbook outlines, essay outlines, science note outlines, and now speech outlines. So it not only adds to my knowledge of outlining, but adds to the organization of my thoughts in general. 